We are getting closer and closer to my buff die. I swear every time I do that, I sound like a pterodactyl. Jeez. I mean, playing pretend I was the pink ranger growing up, so it makes sense. <laughs> All my nonsense aside, on today's episode, hi my lovely hummingbirds, we are going to do Wanda Maximoff. We are going, well, so here's the sad part. I don't actually have Wanda's cosplay. I'm so sad about that. I have failed you as a witch. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Sorry, I just had like a total crisis there. It's been happening a lot. Do these happen more the closer you get to 30? Let me know. <laughs> How do I make it stop? Um. <laughs> well, intrusive thoughts. Anyway, since I don't have the gorgeous costume that she has in the film. We are going to just do a very burgundy look, Wanda inspired, even though the gorgeous Emily Olsen does not wear makeup like this that I've seen. Um, even throughout the film, Wanda doesn't really wear makeup like this, but I'm going to because that's my only alternative here. We'll make it cute. I would say I need a daytime look for like dinner and shit, but, or like early dinner, but I mean, Chicago's gloomy as fuck right now, so it doesn't even matter. <laughs> okay, let's get started. <laughs> Hello, my lovely hummingbirds. On today's episode, to kick off this gorgeous Wanda Maximoff look, we are gonna start off with the Saharan by Juvia's Place. We are going to use the shade Lulu for the inside of our eyes and bull roll roll. I hope I said that correctly. If I didn't, uh, please correct me. But obviously start with the dark shade and then do the light for the effect that we're looking to get on this. Very gradient E. Up next from the no longer existent Urban Decay Electric Palette, we're gonna go in with the shade Jilted. And that's gonna be the third one on the outer lid of our eye. And I picked this color because it reminds me of the actual color that Vision is when he is like part AI. Um, when he has, yeah, when he's not like covering as human, but I mean, what is Wanda without her vision? The Scarlet Witch, but still. <laughs> so, up next from the Menage a Moi palette, which is my absolute favorite palette, in order to darken <laughs> the upper brow bone area, we're gonna go in there with this shade, no drama, because really, was Wanda looking for drama? No, she just wanted her man and her boys, mainly her boys. <laughs> Up next from the same palette in the shade Amour, because she did it all for love. That is what Wanda Maximoff did this for. <laughs> We're gonna put that into the upper brow bone area to highlight it and bring it forward just to give us a little pop of color and a little beacon of hope. <laughs> complete this look 
my favorite shade from the Menage a Moi palette, Thrillist, and we are going to add that to the inner corner of our eyelids just to really brighten it all up. Once this is done, I'm going to go put on the rest of my face. And yeah, oh yeah, please don't forget to blend because if not, this is just not gonna look cute. But <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and put on the rest of my face and I will return with the final look. And there she is! Stunning! It's giving, she'll love me one day, but she'll hex me the next. It's giving, I'm gonna be reckless the night of my birthday. I was not. I was actually a good girl somewhat. But, as always, my lovely hummingbirds, <laughs> les mando mucha paz, muchos besos, y les recuerdo que miren hacia la luna. Sending you much peace, many kisses, and reminding you to always look up at the moon with your witchy, witchiness. <laughs> As always, follow me on all my handles at Ella Monroe Vasquez, at Drizzle's Wifey, and Ella Loon on Only, which is back. All right, that's it for me. I love y'all all so, so much. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Bye.